Is the Fishman SA220 powerful enough for an outdoor country club or golf course type gig? We're going to find out today. Yesterday I got a call from a client who wants me to provide music and sound support, that is for like speeches and whatnot, for a congressman here in Nassau County, New York, who's having a golf and dinner event at a country club. And they were concerned that the last time they had an event, the person who was providing sound did not have ample volume for the speeches. Now, I tend to think that's usually the problem of the speaker not projecting into the mic, but you can't really go and explain that to a client necessarily. Now, I do not have a powerful PA speaker like I used to have. I downsized a lot of my gear because I never used it. Most of the venues I play that would require more power have their own PA. So I sold it to save space as now I'm living in a small apartment. So the Fishman 220 serves my needs. I've never had it not be powerful enough. And in the past, I have played outdoor gigs with it and I felt it was fine. But the client asking me that question, I'm not gonna lie, put a little bit of fear into me. So today we're gonna find out if the Fishman SA220 is powerful enough for an outdoor gig. Now, I might not be able to have video going of me playing at the event because it's for a congressman and it's probably, it might be a little stuffy. I don't know how they're going to feel about me videoing their speeches and whatnot, but I will try. Either way, I will show you what this PA speaker looks like in context to the size of the venue. And then when I come back, I will reflect on how I think it performed. Now, the SA220, I believe, is discontinued, but you can get them at really inexpensive prices, and I have used mine for probably 10 years now, constantly. And this thing just takes a beating, in my experience, and has never let me down. So it might be a great PA that you can get for a good price and use it to play your solo acoustic gigs and save some money. So you can see we have the Fishman set up right over here and we're covering a fairly large area so here we are we're set up to play and i think from what i saw and with the sound check i think the fishman is going to more than suffice but we will see at the end Yeah. 
So these are our setting rooms. Master volume's on about four. Don't mind the dust. The solo amp is serving these fine people. So I'm back at the studio and I think it's safe to say that that gig was a success and that the Fishman SA220 came through with flying colors. I didn't even have to have the volume halfway up and it was more than loud enough to cover that big area which you saw in the video. It was a pretty large area. Now if I had to turn the volume up further would it have distorted? Perhaps. I don't know because I wasn't even going to turn the volume up that high. I didn't want to be too loud. So if you're on a budget and you're looking to buy this Again, they don't make this unit anymore, but you can get them pre-owned for probably less than $500. Throw it in your car, which is where mine lives. It's been in the car for the last 10 years at least. And you have an inexpensive PA system that you could use on virtually any solo acoustic gig. So I'm Frank Persico. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.